my name is Carter Graham and wel welcome back to the Graham Pam TV. So in today's video, I'm, my mom's going to talk about how she like organizes the, the laundry room and yeah. Okay guys, so as you can see, our laundry room is not that big. Really is just room for the laundry, um, the machines, the washing machine, the dryer, and a little bit of room to go in and work. So I think I really have maximized the space, um, at least some of the space that I have. I do know a couple things I might want to do in the future to kind of plus it up a little bit, but for now, this is what I'm working with. I've got four cabinets up top. I've got the washer and dryer. We have a hook, a set of hooks to hang things that are drying. And then I've got some organization behind the door that I will show you in a moment. First of all, I will link these um, if I can find them. These were a free printable um, online. I just printed them off put them in front of some blue construction paper that I had on hand and put them in a Dollar Tree frame. So I've got those three and then I've got this one over here that was also free. So I will link those below. So let's go from left to right. This cabinet is pretty empty because I used to keep cleaning stuff in here and I don't really anymore. And I probably should remove the empty bottles because we don't use the empty bottles. Um, but we had dryer, um, I'm sorry, we had vacuum accessories up here until we sold that back, or actually we trashed that vacuum because it broke. Um, so I just got rid of those accessories that freed up that area. And then I've got laundry supplies here on the whole bottom shelf. And you know how I love my label maker. So I don't keep much as far as laundry supplies. We have some Clorox, some um, shout spray, stain spray. I've got the laundry detergent that we're using and a backup. I've got some OxyClean, um, the generic OxyClean tabs. And then this laundry detergent I should get rid of. Um, I accidentally bought it. Um, not realizing it's not the high efficiency and it's just sitting there. So probably just need to get rid of it um, or give it to somebody for slime or something. These empty bottles, like I said, I can probably get rid of. I've had them forever and we don't really use them that much. And then I have um, some pest control stuff up top. Um, we usually get about one mouse every year. <laughs> and then I've got some raid just for ants. Um, every couple years the ants come in so that is that cabinet and then this is my favorite cabinet <laughs> it's just organized so nicely these clear bins all came from home goods and you can see the size of them they're the perfect size for the cabinet so this bin obviously they're labeled again light bulbs and like accessories that go with lights like light covers and things like that we have extra I have batteries um, a couple times a year I go through here and see what batteries that we uh, that we need to purchase and stock up on and I will try and do that I've got furniture accessories and some things to hang pictures with um, so I've got these pads that we put on the bottom of our dining room chairs. This is for rugs. And then, like I said, some things to hang pictures with. Um, and the things, these go on the bottom of our couch so they don't slip and slide. And then I also have a ton of candles. I have this bin here full of some wax melts, some matches, some plug-ins. Those plug-ins probably can get rid of too at some point. I don't really use them that often. And then the second shelf, I have all my stash of candles. Um, this is, I think I've shown her candles before, Ascension 
Candle Company. She's local to the Detroit area. Smells phenomenal. And then I have my wax melts for Happy Wax. I love my Happy Wax warmers and the scented melts. As you can see, I have several. And then I have um, just these are the candles that are set out right now that um, I have the lids in case we don't burn through them. I can put a lid back on them. And then we have our little sewing kit here. And then up here is our filters, water filters for the refrigerator and a box that we just put these Philips Hue lights in. So we want to keep the box for a little while, make sure they're going to work. Um, well, and then we have some extra curtains and extra chair covers for the dining room chairs. And then on the dryer, I just keep a jar for some change whenever I find extra change. And one thing I would like to add, and I'm not sure exactly how this would work, I would love to get a shelf here. Um, I'd love for it to be all the way across, but I don't think that's possible with um, this stuff. So maybe a shelf here that could just maybe get this off the dryer and maybe a place for some other accessories or something. <coughs> so if I turn you around here behind the door, I have this that I bought at Home Depot and it is for brooms and mops and such. You can hang things on it pretty sturdy and I've got this from I believe this was from Ikea with our extra grocery bags in it we have a stool for Carter mostly um, to reach things in the kitchen mop bucket and on the back of the door I just have some tote bags for easy access and that's it guys that is our laundry room good so that was it and hope you like and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell and see you next time. Bye!